Hey guys, it's Erin. I'm starting off by applying a base coat to all my nails. The first nail I'm doing is inspired by Squidward, so I'm going to be painting one of its tentacles, and I'm starting off with a light blue base. Once that's dry, I'm taking a medium bluish purple and painting an oval shape across my whole nail. Then I'm taking a dark blue and adding the little suction cups on his tentacles. And applying a layer of top coat to smooth everything out and seal in the design. The next nail is inspired by Patrick, so I'm starting off with a light pink base. Then I'm taking a bright green nail polish and painting that halfway up my nail to match Patrick's shorts. Now with a dotting tool and a purple polish, I'm adding some flowers to match the flowers on Patrick's shorts. And finishing with the top coat. The next nail is of course inspired by Spongebob, so I'm starting off with a bright yellow base. Then I'm taking a slightly darker orangey yellow and a few different sized dotting tools and adding some little sponge details all over the Spongebob nail. Then with a thin brush and a brown nail polish, I'm painting his pants along the bottom of my nail. Above that brown line, I'm adding a white line for his shirt. And then once that's dry, I'm taking a red nail polish and adding his tie. And applying a layer of top coat. The next nail is inspired by the famous Krabby Patty, so I'm starting off with a golden yellow color as the base. Then I'm taking a brown nail polish and using a dotting tool to create a kind of bumpy line across my nail. The top part doesn't have to be perfect because now I'm going in with a green nail polish and adding a wavy line for the lettuce. and taking my brush again to add some tomatoes coming off of that lettuce. And here I'm adding some sesame seeds to the hamburger bun by just taking a small dotting tool, doing a dot of white nail polish, and pulling up slightly just to elongate to more of a teardrop shape. And once everything's dry, I'm applying a layer of top coat to finish the design. And the last nail is inspired by Gary the Snail, so I'm starting off with a light pink base. Then I'm taking a magenta pink polish and painting this curved shape that's across Gary's shell. Then going in with a dotting tool and a blue nail polish and creating some different size dots along the top of the pink curve. There should be five dots total. And applying a layer of top coat to seal everything in. And those are the finished Spongebob and Friends nails. We really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to see more content from Cute Polish, you can click these boxes here to watch more videos. And you can click the circle here to subscribe to Cute Polish for a new video every week. You can also subscribe to my personal nail channel by clicking the circle here.